Hey guys, so this is my May wrap up, a book haul, wrap up of the school year, and what is to come this summer. So, yes, stay with me, we have a lot to do here. So I'll start with the May wrap up. The first book I read this month was Insurgent by Veronica Roth. This is the second book in the Divergent trilogy. This just came out May 1st. You can find my review of it down there in the description. I gave this book five stars. I thought it was a whole lot better than the first one, which was also a five star book. It's fast paced and action packed with a whole lot more character development and just awesome characters and it was awesome. Pretty much. So I gave this five stars, as I said before. Next, this month, I was supposed to read The Kane Chronicles by Rick Riordan. How many months has it been? I'm still reading The Red Pyramid, but it's summer now, so I will not be put behind anymore. That's a promise. My review of the series will be up in June, just as I said it would be before. So, yeah. The plan is, this is the last video for a while that begins with an apology of my slackishness. Some may say that I was a slacker this month. Well, I did a book review of Looking for Alaska, a 15-minute book haul, a total of 40 minutes in the Hunger Games series discussion, which was split into two parts, which means twice the amount of editing, exporting, and uploading, a book review of arguably the most popular new release of May 2012, and a book tag. So with videos, no, I don't think I was a slacker, but, like, for a couple weeks there I was, and then, like, I uploaded a video a day. I think this is the fourth day in a row. So, yeah. I caught up, and I'm gonna do the same thing with the Kane Chronicles. So, hush. Also, I had forgotten. I said that at the end of the month, I would tell about my thoughts on To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, which we read in English class, and I am not gonna do a book review separately for this, so I'll make it quick. For me, the plot was interesting, although it didn't really get into what it was about till about halfway through. Though what happened before was all character development and awesome with that. I feel like the language was a bit hard to comprehend and understand what they were saying. It would definitely be easier to read this in audiobook format. There's lots of ain'ts and words with apostrophes. We definitely get to know our main character a lot because this goes through a lot of years. I'm not sure how many exactly, but it's very good. On Goodreads, I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. It was good. Now back to other stuff. So this month, I also went to a two-story Barnes & Noble, and yeah, it was pretty cool. I mean, I've been to some before, but it's a cool thing. So while I was there, I decided to get some books that I've been wanting to get for a while, and one of them is Hex Hall by Rachel Hawkins. This is the first book in the Hex Hall series. I'm not sure if it's a trilogy or more, but as of late, there is Hex Hall, Demon Glass, and Spellbound. I'm not sure if it's going to be continued or not. I really don't know a whole lot. So in the bookstore, I would always see this book. And like, just last month, I noticed this cat on the covers. It's on all of the covers, and I never noticed it until just now. It was weird. It, w it was pretty weird. So while I was there, I also got something that I kind of had my eye on for a long time. It's been calling me for a long time, and that is Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. That is so not her name. Tahara. Everyone says Tahara or Tahira or Tara. It's Tahara, and I love it. I love the name. Although this is another one of those covers with the teenage girl in the ball gown, it does look really good, and I've heard great things about it, so I'm very excited for this one. This is definitely going to be on the summer TBR. So I'm done with school, and it's an amazing feeling, really. I did not enjoy that school year. Well, I kind of did, but at the same time, I'm done with those people forever, pretty much. But a great thing that happened to me this school year was about a month into the school year, I started this whole thing. I didn't start YouTube then because I started YouTube like two years back. But I started this, the booktuber channel, and now over the school year I've acquired like a thousand subscribers. Almost. If I can get to a thousand subscribers, which is going to happen soon because I'm at like 920 now. And if it happens, remember I said I would do an all-out Q&A. So get on that. Anyway, this has been totally amazing, and it made it a relatively awesome school year. I mean, outside of school. Because on the booktube community, you will find the coolest people ever. 
myself included. So I thought I would bore you all with a list of all the books I read this school year. And I was looking through it and I was like, I had school and tests and so much stuff going on and I got through all of those. I mean like, through the whole time I was like, I'm slacking, but uh, I'm looking at the list, the whole, the pile now, and it's rather large for a school year for me, so let's get to it. <clears throat> also, as a side note, I thought I would just say that the books I'm about to mention, the ones that we read in English class are not included, which, if you care, it was The Giver of the Westing Game, Lord of the Flies, and To Kill a Mockingbird. So yeah. The first book I read in the school year was Lies by Michael Grant, the third book in the Gone series, and I love the Gone series. Next I read The Power of Six by Perdiccas Lore, the second book in the Lorian Legacies. The third one is coming out relatively soon, like after summer right after summer, and it's called The Rise of Night, and it's gonna be awesome. Next, I read The Maze Runner by James Dashner, The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan, The Scorched Trials by James Dashner, the second book in the Maze Runner trilogy, The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan, the sequel to The Lost Hero, and The Death Cure by James Dashner, which is the third and final book in the Maze Runner trilogy, although he wrote a prequel. It's coming out in August. Next, I still talk about this book, I read Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, and I am desperately awaiting the sequel that is supposed to come out in spring of 2013. And I tweeted to Ransom Riggs about it, and he was like, he sent me an article about, like, readers being impatient, and I was like, get off your computer and write. So after that, I read the first two books in the Witch and Wizard series by James Patterson. James Patterson? His title is not James Patterson. Witch and Wizard by James Patterson and Gabrielle Charbonnet. And Witch and Wizard the Fire by James Patterson and Ned Ross. Next I read The Future of Us by Jay Asher and Carolyn Mackler, which I really, really liked. And Across the Universe by Beth Revis. Love this and love Beth Revis. And possibly the finale to the Witch and Wizard series, but nobody really knows. Witch and Wizard the Fire by James Patterson and Jill Dombowski. Christmas Time. The Christmas Wedding by James Patterson and uh, Richard DeLalo. I got it. Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Cohn and David Lovett there. So that was the first semester. Just saying. It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Vizzini. Divergent by Veronica Roth. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. A Million Sons by Beth Revis, the sequel to Across the Universe and the second book in the trilogy. Third One Shades of Earth comes out January 15th next year. Legend by Marie Lu. Love this so much. I talked about this so much after. Okay. Speak by Lori House Anderson. Delirium by Lori. Delirium by Lauren Oliver. Plague by Michael Grant the fourth book in the Gone series. The Hunger Pains by The Harvard Lampoon. This is a parody of The Hunger Games, obviously. Fear by Michael Grant, the fifth book in the Gone series. Possibly my favorite, but I don't know. And finally, Looking for Alaska by John Green, which I loved so much. I counted Insurgent as my first summer read because I didn't finish it until school was already out. So, yeah. So that's the end of the school year. Thank you all for making it so awesome. So far, most of my nights have been up late in my PJs with my BJs, and it has been ideal. I have friends. So first order of business for the summer, I just have to tell you, it's like a hundred degrees outside, and um... gonna have to say goodbye to the fireplace. I'm sorry, I know, like, you're all gonna be disappointed about this, but I might be switching locations soon because sometimes you just gotta switch it up, even though this has been, like, perfect. But I can't have the fireplace going all the time over the summer. It doesn't make sense. I mean, I started doing this thing in January with the fireplace, and it's kind of been going on until May, and like, it was all good, but now it's like summer, so maybe it'll come back later, but I might find a new, better location, I just can't really find one at the moment in this house, so yeah, I'm definitely not going to go back to my old one where it was just like the wall, 
or the one with the pool table or maybe the bookshelf but like that's in my room and my whole family is around my room so that's the location talk but for now this is gonna be it with no fire I know I'm sorry I'm just as disappointed as you are it makes it less fun to edit if you want come over here and do that actually that just looks weird so I'm gonna stay here. So over the summer, I'm going to be doing a lot more other types of videos besides just the book reviews and the occasional tag. I want to do a lot more. Now I was thinking of combining book reviews into like three at a time or so. I will definitely do that if it's in a series or if it's by the same author, if the, or the books are extremely similar or if they're not quite very popular. I personally think it complicates a lot. I like doing one book review for one, but for example, I would review The Red Pyramid, The Throne of Fire, and The Serpent's Shadow in one video, and I would review The Enemy of the Dead and The Fear in one video, or I would review the Chaos Walking series in one video, or Beautiful Creatures, or like a Cassandra Clare split into a couple videos. But I definitely have more time. It's a wonderful thing, by the way, time. I definitely want to be making a lot more videos and doing a lot more with this channel. I feel like I kind of stepped up the quality and all of that in January when I moved the location and started doing stuff with like sound effects and putting pictures here and the fire making it look cool and I don't know. I've tried a lot harder and I'm going to try and step it up again although I'm not 100% sure how that is going to tie in with everything. As for the summer TBR, obviously the Kane Chronicles is right up there. I'm gonna finish it in the next week. I'm like not gonna take months to read it. I definitely want to read the Enemy series because The Fear is coming out on June 14th, so I have to catch up on The Enemy and The Dead. I cannot give you a whole list of things that I'm going to read in order because I'm not going to do that anymore. From now on, I think I'm just going to read whatever I want to because I find that when I have a list, it feels more like a chore and I don't want to do it. So, yeah. Jordan, I kind of sealed that idea from you. But some books that I definitely want to read and I can make a whole TBR, like not in any particular order, just like my complete TBR, or you could just look at it on Goodreads. But maybe that will be one of the videos that I make over time. Some books that I definitely want to read this summer are The Kane Chronicles, The Enemy Series by Charlie Higson, Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi, Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll, Immortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare, The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness, and I might reread Artemis Fowl before the last one comes out, or I might just save that for later. But if I save it for later, I'll never get to it. So, yeah. I read Artemis Fowl back in fourth grade, so I don't remember shit. Also, I may be starting something really, really cool that all of you can get involved in. So, I'm gonna end this video on that cliffhanger. Please comment below if you would like me to change locations since you might think this whole location is pointless with no fire in the fireplace. I get it. So I'll see you guys later. Happy summer and goodbye.